So here we are again. I've got more bulk Lego. I said in my last video that I bought to sell on. I invested £50 in it. I've got my little helper here. You want to come in, little helper? Hi. There we go. So, um, Alfred. I'll show bag. you what we've got here roughly. We'll go through it. Let's see if it focuses. Okay, if you want to focus it. Right, they get the gist. Alfred. There you go. So we're going to go through it, see what we got. And he's just messed up with all the focus on this. There we go, we're back on. So I'll flip you around and we'll have an overview and then dig into it and see what we got. So a quick overview is mini figures. So I'm clearly not into it. I can feel that anyway, that's not real. Avengers Tower, bits in here. And that is a Ninjago set. I'll dig that out, I'll dig the other ones out uh, and we'll see what they're worth. So, in this box, first one we pulled out here, there's a plane. And my helper went to take this off, but I realised... It's glued. Yep, it doesn't come out, so let's have a quick look in there. It's a good plane. Somebody has modelled the plane together mm -hmm. and it looks like they've glued certain pieces on. So... If anyone's into Lego and they know, don't glue pieces on. Very silly. So I'll just leave that as it is and come back to that. But yes, unless it's that leg glue that you can get that can wash off, we'll be okay. But if not, that's a pain. So just to touch, everything in this box, I wondered why it was uh, held well together. So it's this item, which is pretty well held together that item that item that item and this that one there it's all glued together so that's a pain mm -hmm. so apologize for i'm going to use this word actually i won't swear but some idiot has glued them all together and i really do hope it's glue that you can get get it off with some warm water Glue it. Yeah. If any other Lego persons out there know if you can get it off the glue, if it damages it, leg let glue. me know if leg glue it damages it or not. I've not come across that before. This is the first time. Mm -hmm. So as we're carrying on, Avengers Tower, glued. Top of it, glued. Batman thing, glued. So Mine as it stands, looking at the minute, glued. looking at the minute. My fifty pound investment is not looking the best. It's all glued together. Mm. So I'll dive into the mini figures and see what we got. So I took a day's break, sorting out that Lego because, uh, if I'm honest, it bit me head in a bit. It was all glued together. So it started to rain. So me and my son thought, "Well, we're having enough of this." So I've just come back to it to sort out the mini figures. I'll show you what we've got now. The sets were glued. And the person decided to glue some minifigures together. So, yep, let's show you how much we got. So, out the tub, we have got there's the tub, a few straggling things in there to do the due diligence on them, see what they are. We got a bag of non Lego stuff, so counterfeit ones and things that are just out and out. Well, just awful. I don't know awful things. Look at the state of that. So, that's a decent chunk. So, just to remind you, pay 50 quid for all these, and generally the money's in the minifigures. So, we got them. That's been taken out. Now we got left with not a great amount. Oops, some heads just fell on the floor, pick them up. So, a few heads, a few bits and bobs. Nothing of any decent value, I don't think, in there. I have to do a proper check, but there's that many different things with different heads on items. So, you got that Mole Man, Hans Mole Man from Simpsons. Uh, you got the caretaker with his head here somewhere. There we go. No body, though. Maybe got his plunger. Uh, a large Ninjago one. A couple 
of Iron Man heads there, a 2P coin. And over there, these are Lego pieces, but these are all the ones that they've glued together. So, Lord knows why. Oh, cap. Lord knows why these have been glued together. So that's absolute waste of time and money. So, even a few little uh, accessories have been glued together. So they can go in a bin. And over here, a dart, a Pokemon card. Don't know about Pokemon cards, so that's probably worth nothing. Pokemon pin. Might be able to sell that. A little metal dog. Kind of looks like Santa's little helper from Simpsons, but... Yep, so that's that. So all in all, all of that is not much, worth much at all. So it's looking like this is a loss. You can't win them all. I'll go through the boxes. There's still more to go out. That was just the tub of minifigures. I might find some more minifigures that I'm not glued. But let's go and see. So we're a little bit later now. Well, a couple of weeks later. Uh, I stopped doing it because it turned into a big job. And I like to finish the video outside where I started it. It's been raining for two weeks, constantly in the UK, or in the Northwest anyway, constant rain. But we've got to it, I've finished it all. I'll show you what it looks like now, so you'll figure out whether doing these bundles was worthwhile or not. Uh, you'll get my answer at the end of this, and I'm sure you'll agree with me what my answer is. Let's turn you around and see what I've got. So, we've got a table full of glued, glued bits. So you've seen these earlier. I'll just tally up here what we've got. With that one there, got Misfortune's Keep, and this one. That would have gone for £70. It's glued up. That little one there, I think it's the part of the tackling that would have gone for £20. That one there, I think that's only a tenner. What would have gone for? That one there is part of Marvel, I believe. That would have gone for 20 I've not bothered looking at them two there, them three bits. That Batman might have gone for 20 quid. And we've got the Avengers Tower. That was all complete. Now they're going for 50. But it's not complete. Well, I'm not even going to check if it's complete. It's glued, it's pointless. And then we've got various other bits here. We've got bits of Minecraft that were all glued up. Cars. There's a lot of wastage here. So if you look at the table, that's quite a lot. If we can get a zoom. We get a zoom, yep. Quite a lot. And then you just go into the minifigures, even that, even that bloody chart has got something glued in its head. You got some half decent figures in here Lisa Simpson, the next old things, Ninjago, Minecraft, Iron Man. Accessories that are glued. So, all that on there is wasted. So, that's wrote off. So, let's jump on to this other side and I'll show you what's here. We have got mind all the weeds, I'll we'll get some gardening done, now it's not raining. We've got a box here of non-Lego. It's not a massive box, there's a fair few bits in there. You'll know these, the usual, we're going to zoom in. Some Mega Blocks, unbranded. So there's all sorts in here, that's some sort of unbranded Transformers. Yeah, it took me some time, a bit too much time. If I'm honest, but I did it for the sake of the video and to see what I could get out of this just to town buy. So yeah, there's all things there. So that can go. Also with that, let's move that tripod. We have got a big bag. Not a big there's quite a few figures in there. Of unbranded bodies, tarsos, heads. Only odd brick, but yeah. That is all non-Lego, so Lego counterfeit like that piece there, and then like a Buzz Lightyear, and then weird and wonderful things that I'm not even trying to be Lego. But that's a hefty amount out of that package. That is nothing. So what did it get us any good? Let's dive into this. So minifigures is where the money usually is. So I've got some bits here. Hulk. This big torch. 
Superman, Riddler. I feel they call what they're from a different range, it's the Lego. So in here is accessories and so forth. I think I counted torso wise, it was a good way to do it. 70 in there. So if we continue on. So if we work off the basis that they're a pound each, some are gonna be more than that. We'll go off a pound, a pound per minute bigger. That's 70 quid. So my money's back in this. But there's a lot of work. And I'll show you what actual Lego get out of it. it isn't a lot. And I got in this bag. This, that's it. Not much at all. That is, I'd say, that's just not the better way. It's just over a kilo. So one kilo of Lego, that's that. Tenner, that's about it. And in this one is weird and wonderful pieces that I pulled out. That maybe to build set off separately. Doors, bikes, helicopter. So I pulled these out, so they're worthwhile. Them. Out with that, all we got was them, them, and that. So on the face of it, it was not a bad pickup for 50 quid. There was a lot there. If they wasn't glued, and the minifigures, and that would equate to, it's about 260 quid that would have brought back in. That's taking out the non-Lego and all these crap bits and minifigures. Oh, and that's without counting the one kilogram of Lego and all the, the box of weird and wonderful things that you could probably sell off separately. I don't want to do that yet. Probably will keep it. The next question is then, what do we do with all these glue bits? Any suggestions off of you guys? That'll be good. Do we just recycle them? Get rid of them? Do we just give them back to a charity shop? Someone might make use of them, put them back into the system. Uh, I can't break them down because they won't come down. I could just give them away. Don't we donate them? Someone might get some use of something like this as a toy. And the minifigures. Is that what you do? Or would you just recycle them? Uh, for these and that non Lego question is people do different things. Some people will sell them, try and get some money back. You won't get much, but recoup some of your losses. You could throw all those non Lego -y bits into a bucket. And top them up so you get a couple of kilograms and sell them. But I know some people who collect Lego don't like to do that. They will just dispose of it, they don't want it to go back into the system. But again, I don't know what I'm going to do. Do we recycle them or just do we give them away? Any suggestions, please let me know. So, this one turned into not a good deal. It was £50. A lot of work's gone into it, and I'll, I'll get my money back on the minifigures. But yeah, you win some, you lose some. That one wasn't too good. So, note to self and to people, if you get any big sets, give me a little twiddle, see if they come apart. If they do, you're laughing. But I'll probably still continue to buy sets because you never know what you're getting them. My son's always looking for Star Wars, so I will keep at it, even getting him any unique and rare pieces. Right, I'll throw these all back in bags. The next video I'm going to do I'll show you a Lego deal that actually worked. So um, I'll show you the bundle I've split down. I finished it the other day. So there's multiple sets out there. Again, time consuming, but this one has worked. So the next Lego video will be a working one. This one, it was a, it was a blowout, but you can just see what you can get from him because you get a lot of non-Lego, you expect it. Bloody pens, Nerf bullets, they've all been, they've all been binned. Um, and you do get some good stuff but this was just an anomaly if you, any of you ever come across glued Legos let me know first time I've ever known it hopefully it's the last but thanks for joining me thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one